What's up, my beautiful people? Today is 11 11, and here's your daily injury report. We have a big day today because, as we all know, 11 11 is a gateway, a portal, right? Sure, a lot of you guys have probably been seeing angel numbers everywhere. I know I have, like 11 11, 111, 888, 777, 999, 222, 555, all of those numbers. If you've been seeing a lot of those numbers, and you know, the, 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 of course, that means that the angels are speaking to you, right? And in each one of those different numbers has a, a, a different vibration to it. But 1111 in particular is all about source is reaching out, speaking to you. So collectively, source is connecting with all of us. All right. Now, astrologically speaking, this is a very special 1111, of course, because we're in 2020. And we are in uh, coming up to the apex, just a few minutes away today from exactly conjuncting the Jupiter and Pluto. With that, today we also have a yod. The yod is between Neptune sextile to Black Moon Lilith in Taurus. And Black Moon Lilith is quincunx to Venus. And Venus is quincunx over to Neptune. <clears throat> Guys, right now, if you are in a relationship that is not serving your highest and best good, it is be, gonna be painfully fucking obvious. Get out of Dodge. Because if you are in a relationship that is not serving your highest and best good and you're staying in it, it is going to suck the life out of you and keep you stuck in this vibration of fear. Right now, we the universe is speaking to us loud and clear saying, hey, it is time to take charge of your life. And if you, if, if I'm talking about this right now and you're like, oh, I know this person, that person needs it, send this video to them. We need to hear this because there are many people out there that are staying, feeling stuck in situations. Now, let me tell you something. Being stuck is a choice. We all have a choice. Now, whatever excuse you want to throw out there, like, oh, well, I don't know how I'm financially going to be able to make it. Or, oh, yeah, but the kids are attached to him. But, oh, but, you know, but he's nice to me just when he's not drunk or when he's not hit me or whatever the whatever is going on, okay? You need to take affirmative, decisive action and take responsibility for your life and get out of the relationships that are not serving your highest and best good. These are going to corrode your life. I promise you that, okay? We are in a time right now, this month and next month. Remember, I was been saying this last week, pop quiz, right? This is a pop quiz. This pop quiz, the universe is screaming at you. You are going to feel debilitated. Every step you turn, you're going to be seeing signs. Walk away. Don't go. Wrong turn. Don't go that. Every single thing. You're going to be thinking something. You're going to be seeing 11, 11. You're going to watch this video. You're going to be like, fuck, man. Okay, okay, I get it. Now, what are you going to do about it? Jupiter-Pluto conjunction is all about being honest with yourself and saying, hey, it's time to open your heart. It's time to stand in your power and take responsibility for your life. If you want to create the life, the vision in your mind that you know that you can have or that you really feel like you want, you need to take that decisive action and make this change. I don't care who it is. If it's a parent, if it's a sibling, if you've been married for 20 years, if it's someone you just met last week, it does not matter. People that are meant to teach us something and that are not meant to be in our life forever, okay, Narcissist empath relationships are a huge one. All right. Stay true to your heart. This is so important. And this yod today with the learn lesson in Venus is like is, is, is teaching us like, how do I lie to myself about what I'm receiving? Am I selling myself short financially? Am I selling myself short with love and compassion? Am I addicted to attachment? And, and Venus is in its home sign. This is powerful energy. Neptune is in its home sign. It's slowing down, stationing to go direct at the end of the month. So that energy is going to be powerful. And this feeling is going to be haunting you all day long. Really today, 
but more so like it's not going to leave you alone at this point right you know what i'm talking about you know, black moon Lilith, that brings out all the bad habits all the all the ways that we sabotage ourselves stop <clears throat> stop sabotaging yourself in relationships okay that is the message that i have for today stop sabotaging yourself for later stop giving your power away look within yourself look at the four survival archetypes if you don't know what i'm talking about go to my website spiritualbody.com and download my free ebook okay which will also put you in my mailing list to get into the opportunity community which is pretty fucking badass and if you're in a situation like this you could use a good community like ours to support you and help to network with people and to hear other people's stories and to grow and learn and flourish and get the fuck out of these dysfunctional situations, okay? The wounded child, the saboteur, the victim, the prostitute, those are the four survival archetypes and every human being has them and we all have to overcome them and face them at some point in our life. Either that or they will just rule our lives forever and we'll be living in fear and we die alone and sad and wishing that we did something different. That is not gonna be you. If you're watching this, that will not be you. Stand up in your self-love and have compassion for yourself and take responsibility and move into a higher vibration and love yourself enough to stop taking shit from people that don't really care about you. Energetic vampires, narcissists, they're everywhere. And right now it is just beaming in your face. Danger, Will Robinson. This is not for you today especially, okay? We all want a healthy relationship. In order to have one, we have to have a healthy relationship with ourselves. And in order to do that, you have to open your heart and be vulnerable. And that's what the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction here, it's ripping apart the foundation and showing you, hey, this is messed up. We need to make some changes. And the change all starts with you taking responsibility for your life and for yourself. And when you do that, things will turn around in every facet of your life. Guarantee it. Okay? And of course, <clears throat> we also have Mars that is stationed, basically. Okay? It's only moving a few minutes in the next few days. It's going to be going direct in two days, 48 hours. Man, that's so exciting. So... That Mars energy is going to be, it's like we are ready, we want to go forward, it's, ah, let's go, but not yet. Be a little more patient with that, okay? So, listen to the signs. Pay attention to Earth school. The signs are all around, all the time, and when you shift your perception, you turn the dial to being honest with yourself, you will see. That there's always an answer and there's always a way. You just have to be willing to step in the unknown. I don't know how I'm going to make money. I don't know where I'm going to live. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what? When you make the decision, you figure it out one step at a time. And through going through that one step at a time, you discover a deeper level of faith because that is all you have to rely on. And it is only when we are forced in a situation in life to only rely on our faith and we have nothing else left, that is when our faith flourishes but sometimes we need that little push that little nudge right but it's a death and rebirth of ourselves of facing our fear and stepping into the unknown and going into really building the dream life that we know we deserve we know we can have okay so that is my channel message for you guys today please share with anyone that you know that could use this message I love you guys and I appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you for tuning in to my videos and for sharing this message and for being a part of the opportunity community because we're going to be having my homie, my super homie, the peace dealer on there this Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific. We're going to be talking about 2021 energies. I'm sure we're going to be going into election stuff and, you know, the, the, uh, the Pluto return, all kinds of cool shit. Okay. So in order to get on the mailing list to be uh, to, to, to get the uh, notifications for the Opportunity Community, download my free ebook. Check it out. You get on my mailing list. And you get a pretty awesome book.
for free. Download to your device in the process. Check it out. Love all you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you all on the next report. All right.